thanks for watching so for this video I'm going to be doing a Beautylish haul I have never ever ordered anything from Beautylish but I'm in a Facebook group that's for makeup and we a lot of people have been talking about like the Jeffree Star stuff and um, just like a whole bunch of stuff that they've ordered from Beautylish and how their customer service is really great so I heard that some Jeffree Star lipsticks were coming back on so I was like you know what let me try it why not I haven't bought makeup in a while because I'm saving up for this wedding so why not just try a few things so let's get started just want to say hi to my little friend back here he is a an alpaca alpaca but he looks just like my fiance <laughs> so I bought him um so he's back there so my order came in a little little box like this because I didn't order like a shit ton of stuff but I it did come with, and let me show you, so I did buy Jeffree Star's Androgyny, which is what I'm wearing on my lips right now, love the shade, like really, really love it, it is definitely like a brownie, like 90s color that's very in right now, absolutely love it, I think it looks amazing on a lot of skin tones, this is what it looks like when I open the box, so it says Return of Androgyny, and you can see like, this has a lot of um, powerful images, so it has Angelina Jolie as the Catwoman. It has uh, it looks like a tattoo. It is a tattoo of a tiger. I don't know whose tattoo that is. It has um, the Mona Lisa and somebody else that I probably should know but I don't know off the top of my head right now. So this is what the wrapping paper looks like. It looks awesome. And then inside came a note and it says um, from Beautylish it says, hi Liana, welcome to Beautylish Boutiques, enjoy all the new products and see you again soon. So, if my camera wants to focus, I think that's pretty cute. They um, personalize your messages and then because of Androgyny, the purchase of Androgyny, they also sent me this. And as you can see, they both have it on and it just looks awesome on a darker skin tone and a really pale skin tone. So, this is the color that I have and that's what... I have on my lips. So let's talk about androgyny. So first thing, this is it. I don't have the packaging anymore because I obviously have used it. This is it. It is a very pretty color. I'll swatch it on my hand for you as well. So that's it. It's like a... All I can say is like a mauve brown color. It's just very pretty. Even with like a, it's like a hint of purple in there as well. Very nice, very pretty. The only thing that I do not like about this, um, so I opened it up, and I don't know how it is all over my hands right now. Um, I opened it up when I was going to work one day. I had put on my scarf because it's just now getting like into the warmer temperatures for New York City, but it's been really cold lately. So I've been put, I put on my scarf. I was going to work. I'm like, great. Open this up, put it on my lips, and I was like what is that? I thought it was my scarf. I was like, did I spill something on my scarf? This smells like rotten pineapples. No joke. It's something rotten in here. So I put it up on my on that Facebook page that I'm in and a lot of people were saying that, well some people said, I don't know why, but look at what's happening right now. <laughs> so let me get a napkin. Couldn't really take it off. But So a lot of people were saying that the lipstick, um, did smell, did have a rotten smell. Some people even asked Beautylish like what was up and they responded saying that it, that's just the way that the lipstick was. Some of them smelled, some of them didn't. And then I guess enough people were like telling Jeffree Star, I guess commenting on his Instagram or something saying like, yo, this stinks. And he responded and he was like, well, you know, like all of the new customers out there. I just kind of didn't like the way that he responded. It was kind of a little like snippy. It was like, well, all of my old customers know that, you know, these lipsticks, we don't mask the smell of like the chemicals because it might alter the formula and the color. So we leave the chemical smell as is. But for all you new customers out there, just know that that's what it is. It's kind of like, I don't know. I just didn't feel like the attitude going on with that. But now at least I know. So the smell is... I don't even know, like normal, but it does stink. So you might get a batch that smells, you might not. It just depends. Some people were saying that theirs doesn't smell like anything at all, and then some people agreed with me that it stank, stanks like <laughs> rotten pineapple. So the color is really pretty though. It's definitely a staple now. I've been wearing it like every day since I've gotten it, so it's been about like seven days straight that I've been wearing this, and I just can't get enough. It is a matte lipstick. It does take a bit to dry. But once it does completely dry, like, you're fine. You obviously, if you're drinking, like, coffee or something, you will see, like, um, marks. It's not, like, a complete finish where it's, like, kiss-proof or anything like that. But 
it stays on your lips for a while and even when it's wearing off it leaves like a nice color underneath so it's I like it it's good all right so everything was really cutely packaged and I didn't want to open it until I made this video so I did order some stuff from Charlotte Tilbury well one thing because I've never tried her stuff so I wanted to try it so let's see what's in here Ooh, yes, Charlotte Tilbury. So, this is what I ordered. It's the um, Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. And it says, when it comes to foundation, I have one simple rule. Perfect coverage in, as light, in a light as air breathable formula. Enriched with a botanical alternative to retinol to stimulate epidermal renewal and ceramids to hydrate a soft and softens skin, illuminates, hydrates, smooths, and reduces wrinkles for perfect looking, beautiful skin. Love the packaging. It's like brown with gold. Very luxe looking. Love that. This wasn't a cheap foundation. I tried to match my skin as much as I could online. I don't know. I mean, you obviously can't tell. But I like it. It's plastic, but it feels durable. It feels nice. So this is what it looks like. I think this is a good shade I got number eight medium it says for a daily luminous tint oh it has like some water so I should have shaken it um, for a daily luminous tint blend a small amount onto your no onto your skin from your nose outwards for a more flawless glowing finish pat on pat on top of areas where extra coverage is needed using a brush shake before each use yeah should have shaken it because the first thing that came up was water so that's what it looks like right here don't know if it's too yellow for my skin but we'll see oh it's very yeah it's definitely very it reminds me of and smells almost like it the Chanel Aqua Lumiere so this is what it looks like it looks like it's gonna cover a lot this is what it looks like on my skin I think I might have gone too dark shit but we'll make it work, it's fine. So that's what it looks like right there. Has a pleasant smell. Like lotion. But, oh, maybe it's because I just have it right next to this. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a lotion-y smell. Then I have the other, I ordered one more Jeffy Star lipstick just because you really can't, I don't know, I like to order like two of a brand just to see what it, what it's like so this is what the packaging looks like very pink obviously the stuffy star and it just says velour lips liquid lipstick this is actually the way it is and this one is in below pony <laughs> so it is like a very purple color I like wearing these type of colors I know some people don't yeah see this one has that same smell so it is the batches that they use this one is awesome I'm definitely gonna wear it once the color once the color once the temperature starts warming up so it's like a blue pink a blue pink I'm going crazy it's like a blue purple you can see it right here really like this so maybe I'll even um, do a tutorial or something wearing that and then the last thing that I bought was a lip scrub I all my videos I've always said I have very chronically dry lips cracked lips because I don't drink enough water and I drink way too much caffeine for anyone to like function really I'm pretty sure if ever doctors need to like take blood from me it's just gonna be coffee like there's no blood it's just coffee um, so I bought a lip scrub just to use I've bought the only lip scrubs that I've ever purchased before were from um, what's this, Lush but they run out too fast for me like I don't like I, I don't know I can't use a lip scrub every single day or anything like that and there's always ha I feel like they have like a three month like period where you can use them because they make them from fresh ingredients and I'm pretty sure that's for any normal person that's fine but I don't scrub my lips so much so when I like go to do it again I'm like oh shit <laughs> this is expired so great um it I love the packaging it's really cute so this is what it is I got the strawberry gum one and this is what it is it just has his um brand logo on it I like the I don't know I just like the packaging and it's, and it's actually really big for a lip scrub let's smell it mmm mmm yes it smells so good just like strawberry bubblegum mmm so this smell I can take this rotten pineapple smell it's not so good I like that the ingredients are right here and this is what it looks like it's just a strawberry scrub I'm actually gonna do that tonight 
So, yes, love this. And then they did include... Okay, just a bill. <laughs> but they did include this little pouch. And this actually has some samples from Charlotte Tilbury. So, it has the Magic Night Cream. A little sample of it and then it has a card just I guess detailing it so it says what it does this revolutionary cream elixir plumps smooths and tightens skin overnight so that you wake up with a youthful glow how to use it starting at the center of the face and working outward massage a small amount into skin with circular motions allow several minutes to fully absorb so that's cool I'm actually gonna use this I'm like always really sad when I use these little samples because you only get like this much of it. So once you're done, you're going to have to buy the whole thing if you like it. And that's the catch. They want you to buy it. But Charlotte Tilbury is not expensive. I mean, it's not inexpensive. It is very expensive. And then they also gave me the eye rescue. So it says eye cream to turn back the clock. And it says here what it does. This velvety cream brightens dark circles, smooths fine lines, and rev... rev revitalizes aging skin around the eyes for an instant refresh how to use it using a gentle tapping motion apply a small amount to brow bone and under eye with ring finger continue tapping for a few seconds to reduce puffiness so you're just tapping like this like tap 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 all the way to the uh, edge of your eye so that was all of my haul I am going to do pretty soon a um like empties video because i have i couldn't get to my project six but i actually have emptied a few other things um i'm gonna do that and then a few like i don't know i don't know what else um i'm gonna do yet but i will be doing some more videos soon so thank you guys again so much for watching all of my links will be down below as well as the beautylish link um so if you want to purchase anything you can and that is it so i'll see you guys in my next one